up y'all it's your girl jess and i am back with another video today's video is going to be a quick weave once again obviously i see i like my quick weaves so i'm going to keep them coming and this quick weave is a flip over quick weave method so i'm going to be showing y'all how i'm doing that in the meanwhile if you have not subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button like this video leave a comment below and stay tuned if you want to see how i got this look Gang, gang, y'all already know your girl finna slay. So, of course, I'm gonna part out like probably like two inches of the front part of my hair, braid that down, and um, I put four big braids in the back of my head. So, now I'm gonna go ahead and use my caps, my stocking caps, and y'all already know I use two caps. I could use one, but I like to use two just to make sure I'm protected from the glue. And um, now I'm just going to go ahead and put these on my head. And once I get those on my head, y'all already know I love to cut out the ear tabs just so that I know my, um, my cap is, you know, stuck securely. Um, this definitely helps if you are a beginner because that, that cap will lift if, you know, it's not really flat down, if that makes sense. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and trace the line. And I like to trace one side, so that way I can go all the way around um, and then come back around and kind of meet it, meet the other side, if that makes sense, just so that I know I'm guiding myself. However, I do know like the shape of my head and everything, so this part is pretty easy for me. If you are sitting down and you know you need to be in the mirror, like for real, for real, get up and get in the mirror because you have to see or it could get really messy. Y'all already know. I already told y'all that. And then, of course, once I get done with that, I like to go behind myself and spray my, um, you know, outline with some spirit. So that way it have an extra hole. And I'm going to sit on the dryer for about 15 minutes. And once that's dry, I like to cut down the middle first, then cut my tab of my ear and cut all the rest of the excess off. Y'all, I freaking cut my hair with doing this. So make sure y'all pay attention. I think I kind of snipped it right when I cut that side off where I'm cutting it now. And I was so mad. When I took my braid, I was like, what the heck? So yeah, I don't even know how that happened, but I did snip my hair. Not too much though. Anywho, this is how it will look. Of course, foundation is pretty neat. And now I'm ready to glue in my bundles, y'all. Shop Chocolate Creations hair. Look how full this is. This is three bundles. Body Wave hair is very silky. Yes, I jet dotted jet black. But, like, y'all, this hair gives. I'm telling y'all, y'all would not regret it. Shop Chocolate Creations hair.com. Okay, so the first track, I'm going to go from ear to ear. I don't be really seeing the point to, you know, cut a little bit and glue like the nape area. <laughs> Girl, I just go ear to ear and glue these tracks down, okay? Nothing more, nothing less. It's easy for me. And that's just that on that. And now I'm just going to go ahead and glue both of the tracks, y'all. These are double, okay? These are double. It gives you a fuller look. And then it's 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 a shorter lift of time just in doing the install itself. So once I put that glue on there, I'm going to go ahead and spritz it down. Um, and then I'm just going to go ahead and glue these tracks. Now, with doing the spritz and the glue, it have a a better hold and it lasts longer however i am going to be in front of this camera every week so <laughs> you know i just i don't know y'all i i did the spritz thing just so it could last longer but i'll be taking my hair out within a week so yeah and this i'm gonna go ahead and use my whole bundle i'm gonna show y'all how i you know lay my the first bundle and i'll be back And 
And I also want to let y'all know, if you are a beginner, you are, you have to really make sure you gluing it from tap to tap. Like, don't go over it. Don't go under. Just glue, glue from tap to tap. And this is how it looks. It's very, very neat. And my tracks are close together. Now, I'm a little dramatic. <laughs> so I wanted to go ahead and add some blonde hair that I used to, I mean, that I had a while back, um, just to add like, you know, a little pop or whatever on each side. And I think I ended up doing four of these, if I'm not mistaken. So I just went ahead and glued it like so, as you see. And then I went ahead and put, I think probably like two rows of black hair on top of that. And then I did repeated the same thing. Okay, so I'm going to finish up this last bundle and I'm going to show y'all how to glue the literally the top part, the apex part. And y'all, I don't know why I look like that on camera, but my braids are flat. <laughs> it looks like it's poofy or something like that, but no, it's really, really flat. Y'all will see, see in the end. Like I said, this is the last bundle and I'm going to show y'all how I'm gluing the top part to close it out which is easy <laughs> just go across from track to track and keep going up until you get all the way to the front now i do not keep these close at the top part because i like mine to lay very very flat so i'm not stuffing all these tracks at the top because i want a flat surface Okay, now I am done, and you guys see the final result of how I installed these tracks. Um, I'm just brushing it out to show y'all how full it is. None of my tracks are showing. Everything is neat. Everything is flat. Um, like I said, shop chocolatecreationshair.com. Leave a comment below. Let me know what y'all think so far. But yes, it's very, very full. Now I'm just going to go ahead and comb out my braids and begin to style. And the first thing I'm going to do is go through it with the hot comb to get those, um, you know, get my, get my hair straight from the root. <laughs> and then once I do that, I'm going to go in with my smaller flat irons and just go right back over it and get what I did, could, didn't grab with the hot comb. I'm a little scary cat, y'all, so I don't, be, I don't like burning myself. If I burn myself, I'm done. <laughs> Then I'm going to flat iron it, of course. And as y'all can see, it looks so freaking natural and pretty, y'all. This is, this is why I love the flip over method because you can wear it on either side. You can wear it in a ponytail. You can wear it up in a bun. You can do it however you want to wear it. You don't necessarily have to have it styled all the time. This is why I added a little color because it just, you know, it does its own thing. And I think that if you like what you see you should try it at home <laughs> tag me let me know follow me on all of my instagram pages below but yes this is it before i curled it now um i don't like to put any like edge control when I have my hair out, like left out, simply because it, you know, is too heavy. And I just, you know, did my hair. So I don't want my my um hair to get oily too fast. So I'm just brushing out my baby hair, swooping them. And if you're a part of the game and you like what you see, leave a comment below, y'all. Let me know. What's up? Y'all see your girl. I slayed my hair, okay? And y'all can too. Leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Like, comment, share. And I'll be back with more. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye.